Greetings, my fellow Americans, and welcome to Chris White Mountain Retreat Headquarters for the first of what I hope is many Chris White challenges for 2008. This is challenge number 13 overall, and it comes from Megan Simpson of the Bethesda, Silver Spring, Grovesner type area in Maryland. The challenge was a bit of an FU. It's Newton's third law of motion. It simply stated, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Simple topic, you're thinking. No, not at all. The law itself is pretty hard to explain. And just any fundamental term, how do you even explain it to a crowd? I, I sure helped my nephew the other day with his project he was working on and trying to understand why rockets fly, and that's straight up Newtonian physics. Why does a rocket fly? I said, oh, well, when a rocket pushes down on the ground, the ground pushes up on the rocket. And that's why it flies. And he said, well, how does the ground push up on the rocket? And I said, well, the ground, because the rocket pushes down, the ground would push <clears throat> up by doing the... Jesus. Jesus makes rockets fly. He rides a magical unicorn uh, and carries the rockets up into the stratosphere before releasing them over to Buddha, who really handles most of space. Anyway, long story short, that's why my nephew had to repeat the third grade. Apparently a science fair project, including a diorama of flying Jesus, was not well received. Anyway. This uh, next bit of comedy you're going to be seeing was filmed at Top Shelf at Solly's Tavern on January 22nd, 2008. I hope you enjoy it, and remember, keep sending your challenges to chris at dcstandup.com. I'll be waiting. I do like the science. I am a good law-abiding citizen. I like to obey most of the laws of physics, especially when it's convenient to me. There are a couple that are really useful. The uh, second law of motion is the best one. You guys know it? Don't all shout it all at once. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe it's the first law. Yeah, body at rest tends to stay at rest. That's very useful when someone wants you to help them move. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'd love to help you move, but you know, body at rest turns to stay at rest. And if I get up from this couch, it might ruin the gravimetric balance, and the moon might crash into the earth, and all humanity would be destroyed. So, my hands are tied. Lift with your knees. I'm going to watch 46 straight episodes of Mythbusters. <laughs> Have a good Saturday. Yeah. That's a great one. I like uh, the third law of motion. Also, that's a good one. It's because uh, uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's familiar with that. Yeah, it's, it's a good law. That's, for example, like if you shoot a gun, that's why the gun is recoil. Or if you sit in a, like an a office chair with the wheels and you hold a fire extinguisher and you shoot it, uh, you will be asked to leave Staples immediately. <laughs> and they'll be like, you know, get out. And you're like, I'm a scientist. And they'll be like, well, don't scientists usually wear pants? <laughs> By the way, you're paying for that chair. <laughs> you guys know who came up with that law? Don't all shout it out at once. Newton, yes! Who, who gets the prize? Well done, Newton. PBR on me, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Spider. Newton, that's good. That Newton came up the law that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, which is why I firmly believe that Isaac Newton never asked a black woman to be quiet in a movie theater. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there was not an equal and opposite reaction to that <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Isaac Newton! Excuse you! And then she'd hit him with her purse. <laughs> at which point he would discover gravity. That was not the reaction I was expecting. Uh, it's not a science, people. What can I say? Yeah. Oh, wow. Newton also, uh, he uh, never uh, dated anyone and uh, also was never married, which also could explain why he was able to go with that. I don't, if you really was involved in any kind of relationship, you wouldn't have that sort of reaction. Because, uh, relationships, there are no equal and opposite reactions. I was dating a girl for a while, and, like, four years, and uh, four years in, I was 15 minutes late for a dinner that we were schedule. And I called her on the phone. I'm sorry, in traffic. I'm going to be 15 minutes late. She's like, that's okay. I've been sleeping with her best friend for the last year. And it really was not an equal or opposite reaction. You know? And I tried being mad at him, but, you know, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. So, you know, hands were tied. <laughs> All right. I walked to the edge, sort of fell over, grabbed a tree branch, and <laughs> pulled her way back up. Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs>